Hello everyone, this is Vikas from Ismail Academy and welcome to part 3 of our joke application that we are building from the last two videos. And this is where we left off in the last video. We created this horizontal menu like recycle view items. Okay. So now in this part, we are going to create the fragments and we are going to assign that fragment here in the frame container. So let me go to the Android Studio and show you guys what we have right now. In the main activity, we have this recycle view as well as this frame container. And as I said in the last video, we are going to use this fragment container to load the fragment here. Okay. So in that way, we can load the, we can load the different jokes based on the item clicked in the recycler view here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, I'm going to create one more packages for fragments. It's not necessary. You can directly create fragment here, but I like to keep things tight. So that's why I'm creating new packages every time that I'm adding extra things here. So let's go ahead and create the fragment. So go to the fragment, create blank fragment. So this fragment is for the jokes. So uh, I can simply name it joke, but uh, I'll give the name as a main. Okay. So finish. And it comes with lots of stuff here that we don't need. So I'm going to delete some of this. We only need this on key, on view on create view method here. Okay. We don't need any other stuff. So I have just deleted it. And now I'm going to load this fragment, this blank fragment to our main activity. So I'll just close this stuff for now. We don't need it. So go to our main activity here. And just after this, I will create the new fragment manager. Okay, new, sorry, we just use create fragment manager method here. Now we go ahead and create the instance for fragment transaction. So fragment transaction, transaction. Okay. And we'll use the manager uh, in instance that we have here and start the begin transaction and we can replace our fragment. And here we need to add the fragment container. So r.id dot fragment container. And it's going to take the fragment. So I'm going to create new instance of our main class. Okay. And now we will commit this transaction so that it's going to display the new fragment in our fragment container here in the main activity. So let's go ahead and run this to check if this code is working properly or not. Okay, you can see we are having this fra fragment here, blank fragment in our main activity. Okay, so in the coming videos, we will change the content of this fragment based on the category item clicked here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add these categories from our joke API. Okay, so if I go here, you can see we are having one, two, three, four, five, six categories and one more is any. So we will have total of seven categories. So I'm going to add that in our application. So come back here, go to the main activity. And instead of this, I'll create any one more is for programming. Miscellaneous. Let me copy and paste this. Okay. So these are the categories. So let me run this again. And now we have all these categories for our recycler view. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make this item clickable. And based on that, we will change this fragment here. So to do that, let's go to our adapter actually here in the category adapter. So now the idea here is to load the fragments whenever these buttons are clicked. Okay. So if I click on any, it should load the a fragment where the jokes from the any categories is um, included. And if I click on progr programming here, it should highlight the programming. It should uh, deselect this any and it should display the jokes from the programming section of our API. Okay. So to do that, we need to handle the click on this recycle view items here. So we can do so by uh, using the onclick listener method here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement 
on click listener on our view holder okay and now we can implement the on click method okay now whenever any of the button is clicked we can do perform some operation okay so let me show you the sample toast here clicked okay now i'm gonna run this application to make sure this on click method is working and if i click on this right now it's not working because i have not uh, assigned the listener so item view dot i'm gonna set on click listener to this view holder okay now if i run this again it should work okay so if i click on programming it's going to display the clicked okay so this on click method is triggering successfully so now uh, here are a few things that we need to understand so what we are going to do is whenever any of this button is clicked we are going to highlight okay so we need to set the background here so to set the background what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the background to this card view so here we are having the card view obviously in our category view right so this is our card view so i'm going to give the id for this card view so that i can reference it later so i'm going to give id as a card item for this card view now i'm going to reference that from the category adapter so just like here i'm going to create card view okay now i can reference that here so card item item view dot find view by id r dot id and card okay now whenever the item is clicked let me go ahead and try to add the background color in our card item so here i'm going to reference our card item and i will set the background color okay color dot i will just add the red color so let's go ahead and see what happens and you can see it is having it is having the red background in all the items here and that is uh, we don't want that okay what we want is whenever the any of this item is selected we want to have the background color here not uh, at the beginning of this um, application okay so we need to fix that so to do that we need to keep track of the selected card okay because we need to keep track of which card is selected and which card is deselected so to uh, keep the track of the card i'm going to create one integer value here and create the variable for the integer it is position of card okay so this is the position of card that we're keeping track of and here first we need to find out which card is selected and uh, get the position of that card okay and we will check if the selected card is equal to equal to the same position here then we're going to uh, set the background as red if the position is not the same or if it is a different card then we are going to deselect that so to do that we can use if else condition here so if position of card is equals to equals to the position then we need to set the card background to let's say red and if that is not the case then we will set the background of the card as transparent or white okay so what we are trying to do here is if the position of the card is equal to the currently selected card then we are going to set the background as red of that particular card if that's not the case then we are going to set the uh, card background to the default white background okay so let's go ahead and check if this thing is going to work but right now we are not having this position of card with us because right now this position of card is empty and we need to set that here in the on click so let's come back here whenever the card is clicked we will notify that item has been changed so notify item changed and we will pass the position of our card okay and now we will select which position is uh, selected so we will change the data of our card so we will set the currently selected card position to this position of card so get adapter position okay this is the position where our uh, currently selected card is present and again we will notify that data sheet has been changed and we'll add the new position of our card okay so this way uh, we can uh, notify our recycle adapter that 
we have a uh, user have selected different card than the other one the last one they have selected okay now this position of card is having some value so we'll come back here and change the background color of our card so we can holder dot card item item dot set background color and we'll set the red color here and similarly here we will reference our card item and set the background color as white okay now let's run this application to see if this thing work okay now you can see by default it is selecting the first item now if i click on programming it is selecting the programming and deselecting the any okay you can see and you can also see dark and spooky christmas and so on okay so this way we can select the currently selected position of our recycle view item and what we are going to going to do is based on the selected position we will uh, load this fragment okay and we will load the our jokes so this is it for the video and i know i uh, uh, we have learned something new here today and uh, it might be confusing for you so if you do not get anything that i said here in the video then uh, you can watch it again and after watching it again if you don't get any of the part let me know in the comment below or contact me in the facebook then i will uh, explain it to you and i will see you in the next video